Welcome back to another game of Age of Empires. I haven't played in a while and this is the first time, the first game of the day. So we'll see how it goes. It's an arena game. Me as the Ethiopians playing against Jap as the Mongols. Mongols, okay. I feel like this is a pretty good setup because I get pikemen for free. And he's probably gonna go mass cav archers and I might do like maybe onagers or something. Uh, I'll try to get the relics because onagers are extremely expensive. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Let's start out by trying not to have any TC idle, idle time. I'll see how I do. not to get housed and such hopefully it'll go well but I guess we'll see where's my wood line not sure maybe there Let's not forget about the TC idle time. And the next one, I'll try to send. Ow. Maybe to get the boar. No, that's too early, I think. This one, I'll send to build a house. And I feel like the next time. Do you have more sheep? So seeing that I have more sheep, I'm gonna go for more boys. A little more on uh, the mill. Ooh. I don't forget to do that. That's great. Ow. I feel like this is going very well to be honest, I wasn't expecting this, but I haven't messed up yet, that's the first mess up probably, I'll just go straight for it then. This might be over, right? Please, just run. No. Well, and we have TC idle time immediately. All right, now it got messy. And we need another house. Let's 
Anyway, I'm not completely mad about that. I lost a villager, that's very bad, but on the other hand, everything else is going quite smoothly. And I might be able to click up soon. The Gidjune. Ginbanyani. Ao a dining. Salamne. Ginbanyani. I think I'll go 25 up. Because he'll probably be earlier. If I can afford it, that is. That must be so close, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's just get farming in co op. Uh, for a. And Tich Valagni, Ow. And I'll just get now. another farm. Ooh, I'm gonna get a house. Skin by Nyan. The Gidu. And Tich Valagni. And Tich Valagni. He's not feudal yet. That is a surprise, honestly. I should be making spears, though. Ow. Gundengani. The hills of Sabinin. Does wheelbarrow cost wood? Maybe it does. Felt picket. Yeah, it does. I really want to know where I'm open. Here I'm probably not open, right? No, that's probably the side. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not wrong. Okay, so I'm just uh, trying to get all the eco upgrades. I'm gonna go for a fast castle. I feel like I have way too much on gold though. Should probably... I'll just let it be. So I'm trying to get my farming eco up. Trying to keep my villagers producing. And now I have wheelbarrow, which feels really good. Uh, not about to get housed. Trying to just get a couple of pikemen. Too. Ow. So you can build a 
He's already castle age. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I don't really understand how that happens, but. I'll just die down here. So, I'm thinking Pikeman Siege, right? I feel like it might already be going for rest. That went at the tank. Wheelbarrow. Oh, I can't afford it. Don't get wheelbarrow. Build the TC instead. Much better. Much better idea. Uh, and then the other TC. Just buy wood for it. And I feel like here is a great spot. You can go help with that. Maybe I should be going for stone, but I'm kind of going for map control because I killed the scout. And I know he's Mongol, so he's probably just gonna go. Shoot. He hasn't expanded. He's probably going for a boom game too. Not making any military. I should definitely be doing. I'll just buy wood. I feel like getting a market and just buying whatever you need uh, and going heavy on gold is a better play uh, in the long run, especially if you're new uh, who misses stuff because you make up money. I know you're not like. I know it's better not to do it that way, but I still feel like uh, um, you'll get by faster, like in the end. I'm just gonna keep doing pike, man. Maybe I'll do like a siege somewhere.
Skin by Nyan. Salamne. Skin by Nyan. Skin by Nyan. Skin by Nyan. So I definitely oh, have map control now. I just think uh, I need to use it more. One way to use it is to get the relics. So I will be doing that. Uh, and I should probably start building siege because it's probably going to be imperial soon and attacking. <laughs> that would be just my luck. Maybe I go monk, pike, siege. I like that. She's obviously not out at all. Brigitte Junet. And Trich Valaj, and a fat Zabuwal, Mahede knew. The guns are there, Walu. Ow. Why is that happening? Gin by Nyan. 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 You don't want to send the creatures just to nowhere. Oh, I should probably like send a couple of villagers out. Castle like somewhere here, so I'll just try to get that oh. stone cleared. Why not? Castle. Uh, give me 
this extra the good just stuff in my chest. Like maybe there. In Banyan. How many relics did we get? Four. Oh. Very happy with that. Yeah. Maybe getting more on more on food is really what I need. Gin by Nyan. 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 Ow. Salam Nesh. Gin by Nyan. I wonder which TC is sending people over there. I'll just put people on gold. I am Imperial, right? Oh, Do I need a secondary? Yeah, I should go archers if he's going archers. Ow. Gin by Nyan. Gin by Nyan. Gin by Nyan. The good to name. Gin by Nyan. Gin by Nyan. The good to name. Gin by Nyan. Gin by Nyan. Gin by Nyan. I do have 105. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to defend though. Uh, I'm thinking I get fletching at least. Yeah, I should prepare an archer switch. The halberdiers are still very good to have. Yeah, he's probably gonna get those traps, right? I'm 
I still think he's pretty screwed to be honest. So I'm getting access to all this extra resources, right? And he really isn't. It's not really yet. I'm gonna just use all my resources. Yeah, this is definitely going pretty well. Like 36 on food, <laughs> only one gold. Sorry. Should probably go for four castle. like we're doing pretty good. We are running out of gold, but we have those four relics, right? Definitely spending gold though. <laughs> Mass Arbalest. Probably 
should do that. Pop caps. All right. I know he has a sneak somewhere, but there's not really anything. I like this guy. He doesn't resign easily. Good game. Well played. <sighs> yeah, that just everything just went well. I'm very happy with that game. We had three TCs up. Hussar, Cav Archers, and I went Pike. Uh, Arblist. So I guess he had mobility, but I killed a scout and I patrolled with the uh, early pikes using the Ethiopian pikeman upgrade. Um, and after I had that, I just felt like I had map control, so I took all the... Oh my god, look at that gold. 29 on gold still. <laughs> There's eyes in CCD. That is efficient, right? Yeah, good game. I don't know where his villagers went saw them go out and try to round me but yeah he was completely out of resources those were his Salamnish. this one was his um so i guess he just went mass house at the end he couldn't really engage with his scavengers yeah i'm very happy with this game let's check out the statistics all right we're moving on up <laughs> what was his eva can i check that So the overall score you see right here, the military score, I had a bigger army. Food collected, he won, that's interesting. Uh, I guess he was going Hussar though. Wood I won, stone I won, and gold, wow, look at that difference. to castle he didn't really use that though maybe he went three tcs we'll see on the timeline uh and on the villager high but yeah no that relic gold so i'm getting 2500 let's not I, I don't think i really should have gone for relics this game because i had access to all the gold in the world and those monks really didn't do much for me Yeah, I, I'm guessing, like, I have an eco lead 
or I guess that's military, but we're pretty even, right? Maybe we go up until Castle Age. So he goes 3 TCs and booms by me. Well, then I go 3 TC and just keep reducing both military and uh, villagers. He wasn't really producing military until Imperial, and I guess that was way too late. A good game after all. Thank you very much.